right, guys, welcome back to another episode of M Creator. Uh, we're going to be looking at a fo another file manager tutorial on how to save items to a JSON file. So this is pretty much our, I believe it's like our second to last uh, tutorial that we'll be doing on this. But uh, we're going to be taking a little bit of break after. Now, if we get the registry uh, name of the particular item, what we can do is we can actually save items. Uh, I believe we can save entities as well and other features. I'm not sure how the entities would be a, any major use uh, when it comes down to it, but uh, you, you are able to maybe use the summon command to spawn them in. Um, outside of that, we're going to set a default value for this one this value here uh, to stone but we need to get the registry and then make sure that it's stone uh, this will make sure that there's a default item uh, set here if we tried doing it with just the regular item then it's not going to work it's just going to print out a whole bunch of unnecessarily stuff so for this one this is our right procedure this is what we're going to be doing when we save something and what I'm going to do is I want to make sure that uh, we got um, like this one up here, what this one does is it goes ahead and actually creates the file. And then this one is going to basically rewrite the file. Now this shouldn't have any particular procedure for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our registry. And we're going to grab the item one for the item registry. And we're going to get the main hand item. That way we can basically save something in game and demonstrate it. So the other one that we need is we're going to go to our one where we print out text and I don't think I actually need that particularly there. We're going to move the file thing up a little bit and then what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of tweak this just a little bit so we have the right properties. I'm using a new a tag or JSON object for called items and or item and then what we can do is we can basically just rearrange this a little bit where it's a little bit more accurate all right so basically what i'm doing is i'm testing for if it's going to save it or if it's going to be loaded if it's loaded uh, what we want to do is we want to actually remove the spawn location we want to set the uh, coordinates of the entity that's running the command or typing the text and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get the registry and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and print out that variable that we just assigned uh, for the variable though uh, what we're going to need is to uh, also run our save part for when we actually save the actual file and then we want to make sure that there's a test here to make sure that the item is in our main hand is not error. So we're going to test if it's not, and then we're going to select error, and then it's going to make sure that it's not an empty item. All right, into Minecraft, uh, we are going to just kind of demonstrate that the structure that we have here is generating the file. So we go into here, our config file, and then we can see that there is one with the item registry. You might notice that there isn't any MBT attached. That's actually how the the uh, registry works. It doesn't store the MBT. There isn't actually a way to get the MBT from like and put it onto the item. So unfortunately, I'll be demonstrating this in just a little bit. So uh, basically, if we go ahead and just go onto the ground here, it'll be a little bit easier to demonstrate. So we'll go ahead and type kit and we should get one stone. That's the default configuration. So we can basically throw that over there and then we'll type stone, I don't know, right here or the kit and it gives us another stone block. So that's basically how that particular works. Now let's go ahead and enchant a um, diamond sword and then I'll kind of demonstrate how the, the con of this system how it works and stuff so we're just going to put fire aspect on it and we'll grab an anvil and we'll put that on uh, quite quickly so let's go ahead and grab an anvil and we'll place that down and then we'll go ahead and put the sword in there we'll just enchant the sword so it has fire aspect too and we can just get rid of that and then I'm going to type slash save or not slash save just save 
and then it should be saved to the particular thing. So if we type kit, it will give us a diamond sword but no enchantments. So that's down to the way that the file registry works. Uh, unfortunately, there isn't really a workaround for it. But um, outside of that, um, that's basically it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.